Hi, it's Brad. Welcome to our treehouse video. This was the first one I built, which mine are pretty elaborate with uh, plenty of good detail. Yours don't have to be this elaborate, but they can be more elaborate for that matter. Here's another one that we built. So in your box, you'll find, uh, let's get this out of the way, uh, you'll find assorted craft woods, craft sticks. You'll find a little measuring tool, uh, paint stir sticks, dowels, uh, just assorted craft wood, sandpaper, popsicle sticks. And this is not going to be the sum total of your project. You know, I'm trying to encourage you to look outside the box. If you have a yard or neighbor that has trees or branches, you know, please feel free to use anything and everything around your house, including a toy tire for the swing. So uh, once again, we're back to the craft wood, uh, 10 or so clamps, a pencil, rubber bands. So my forte in all of this is uh, craft stick bending, how to bend and mold and shape craft sticks, craft wood. And uh, the DVD is uh, full of 90 minutes of tips and tricks on the years that I've been doing this. And uh, for the most part, one of the, uh, the best chapters in my DVD that I use the most is the uh, right angle bends. You can see that popsicle stick bent at a right angle. This one back here. So the right angle bends allow you to do a lot of uh, support and securing of walls. So that chapter is probably the most critical to start with. Uh, we've got, if you can read that, get the glare out of the way, craft store supplies, right angle sticks, household bends, uh, I'm sorry, household bends, right angle bends, mold your own. There's a bunch there that is uh, worthy to watch as you progress through your project. So we're going to uh, send you, or if you haven't already received it, um, we'll send you a foundation stand and the trees. And the first key to your project is to locate the best supporting area for your branches. And sometimes if you don't, don't have a specific branch that will work perfectly for you, what you'll need to do is create your own support. See how I've uh, put like a knee brace up here to stabilize the foundation. Or you could use one of your own branches and bring it up from the base, secure it with a screw from the bottom, possibly, and then you can put some more right angle braces on there to support your treehouse. So my goal is to not instruct you exactly how to proceed. My goal is to bring your creativity out and so that you can use the, the world around you use what we have supplied for you to come up with your own treehouse. But for the starters, like I said, the, the best thing to do to start with is to find your foundation base. Where is the bottom of your treehouse, fort, or clubhouse going to be? And one of the other things I like to do is I usually don't make it wider than a popsicle stick because if you start to expand out it then becomes harder to reach in to actually play with your Playmobiles or Legos or whatever kind of guy 
or little family characters that you have. And then the other thing I like to do is to keep the sides open to an extent so your guys can jump off the edge or you can actually get your hands in there to play with your your story or whatever you're doing but if you wall everything off all the way around you realize well oh, I can't get my guys in there to actually pretend like it's a, going to be a fort so you know like in this particular case you could start with your foundation across this point and one of the things when you try to glue on to bark you do want to carve that out because the bark won't accept the glue very well you want to expose the real wood of the branch so you could start with a base here maybe you make a platform Maybe you start here or another platform at this height, so you actually have two heights. And not, I mean, obviously not every tree that we, tree house kit we send out is going to be the same. This one obviously is different. Um, please feel free to cut the branches as you see fit to make your theme. Have your parents help you if you need to. But like on this particular case, you could start your foundation across here, get rid of this, put some supports going this way, steady, oh well, okay. Um, put those supports across here and then build your popsicle stick decking or the floor going back and forth this way. So I'm not here to instruct uh, every detail. I want you to really bring your own creativity to this project. Think outside the box. Use what you can from around the house. We typically don't encourage you to use um, plastic Lego type things in here. It kind of spoils the theme of a tree house. So we like to use natural things on, on the project. So, and back to the tire. This was an old remote control car wheel that we'd had around. We thought for a tree house, your guys would uh, obviously need a tire swing. So uh, please feel free to enjoy. Once again, cut the branches as you see fit. And uh, when you get in a jam, if you do get in a jam, you're happy to email me my information's on the DVD. And uh, most of the questions you'll need answers are on the DVD. I suggest watching it in short, short period of time and don't have to sit and watch the, all of the 90 minutes at once. Thanks. Please enjoy.